Oh, why, hello there. I know it's been a while and you're all wondering where the hell I've been. <laughs> Probably not. But I thought I'd tell you anyway, because I feel like making a video. <laughs> I'm using one of my new toys. I got a DJI Osmo Pocket, which is amazing. And I got a 7 III. Mm, it's so good. But yeah, that's not what I've been busy doing. I've been busy doing all kinds of shit. I bought a HP ProLiant server, which I mounted on the wall in my laundry room because, you know, hey, why not? Yesterday, I had all my, well, some of my cables run. It's still kind of gross. It's progress, damn it. Like, my access point is actually mounted on the ceiling now, all nice and pretty, where it should be. Right, Griffin? That's right. And I'm still gonna have some cables run. You can see underneath it, it has a like hole. I'm gonna have all the cables that are hanging out of it. I go down to the switch and stuff that's in here. I'm gonna have all that shit run through the wall and into that hole in the back. So it'll be all nice and neat and pretty, unlike this. But what are you using it for? Well, I will show you. The first thing is it's gonna run my security cameras. Well, it is running my security cameras. This router, which is for some reason sitting on a paint can, is plugged in completely separate into the NIC on the bottom of the server, or in the back of the server, depending on how you have it. There's a four port NIC on this thing. It came with that. You can actually do a whole bunch of different stuff with the server, but that's what it came with. For now, that works okay because I have the switch plugged in, so it's on like my regular network into one port, that's what the black cable is. The yellow cable goes to that router sitting over here on its own. That runs my security cameras on its own entirely segregated network. It is completely on its own. I have two cameras in my backyard. Those are Foscam, whatever the model number is, I'll put up here somewhere. I don't remember offhand, but they're full HD, infrared, all kinds of crazy shit. One looks at, hello, come on now, little camera. One looks at the horses so we can see what the hell they're doing. The other one looks up the side of my house so we can make sure no one's coming up the side of our house or coming through our gate or, you know, whatever. The front camera is what I call Big Bertha because this thing, this thing's baller. It's a FOSS cam as well, but this one has pan, tilt, zoom, uh, infrared, two-way communications, the whole nine yards. It's a 4K camera, 2K, I don't remember. Uh, again, I'll put the uh, model number up here for you somewhere so you can look it up. It's pretty baller, I like it. It's really, really good. It's on patrol mode right now, looking back and forth, make sure no one's in my damn yard. Gotta protect the leaf, you know? My final camera. For now is a, another FOSS cam. This one is a R2, I believe. Again, I'll put info up here so you can check it out if you want. This is a 2K camera, which also has infrared, pan, tilt, two-way communication, the whole nine yards. It's a uh, pretty baller and I got it on sale at a, a flash sale on Amazon, so yeah. To run all this shit on the server, I am running um, Unraid which is like a network attached storage, virtualization. It does all different kinds of stuff. It's, it's a really, really cool OS. Really like it. It's been working very, very well. So I have a virtual machine. I said it was on a dedicated network. So how do I check the cameras? I'll show you. Here I have my good old little Asus Flip from past videos. Yes, it's still rocking. It's been around for quite a while and it's still kicking. I've kind of repurposed it into um, my security camera viewing machine, for now at least. This is all VNC. It's all a remote connection to the server, I should say the VM on the server, locally. The way you get to it is this is the VM that's running the cameras, hence the name, creative, I know. All you do is go VNC remote, and it pops it up. Do I have to put my password in again? I already did, yep. And poof, I can see the desktop. This is just a Windows 7 install that I have. 
Uh, it is only running Blue Iris. Blue Iris is my security camera software of choice right now. I used iSpy for a long time and it was good, but this stuff with these Foscam cameras is amazing. You do have to pay for it. iSpy is free. So it's like, eh, you know, go whichever way you want. A little more about the server it's running on. It is a HP DL360E Gen 8 and I got it off of eBay for somewhere around 450 bucks and it came with no joke i'm trying to reduce the glare here a little bit i know you don't want to stare at me uh dual xeons um again i'll put the specific model up here because i can't remember offhand and go down 64 gigs of ram installed for 450 dollars ish that's a screaming deal now it didn't come with any hard drives but that's no big deal as you saw it was the large form factor one. So it took like internal hard drives, just regular old SATA hard drives. I did that on purpose because I already had some of those laying around and those were relatively cheap. Right now I'm running, uh, let me turn you back around. There we go. Main. I have a three terabyte drive, a three terabyte drive, an eight terabyte in there as a parity, which gives you fault tolerance for um, the server and the, the data on the drives running off of a little thumb drive uh yeah so i have six terabytes right now that i can put stuff on and i have another eight terabyte drive i'm going to be shoving in there soon so i'll have a total of 14 terabytes that i can use to store stuff and it'll be parity protected good to go another really good thing about the server and the way it does the vms is i can actually vnc into the machine like i showed you a minute ago while the machine is on its own segregated network because it goes through the server into the VM that way. You can't get to that VM from the outside network at all. It's like it doesn't, it's literally on its own router and hey, I mean, you saw it, it's all by itself. It has its own NIC, its own router, its own network, its own everything. That's how I wanted to run my security cameras and being able to view the security cameras through, uh, through VNC, very cool, I like it. So yeah, I need some more hard drives in here. I'm gonna put another eight terabyte in here. Uh, I'm gonna do a solid state cache drive as well. Uh, it'll be down here when that shows up. That makes stuff just load faster. But for now, this has been rocking. If you wanna see more of it, let me know. I will talk to you later.